Lady Walter Quinn, you have a visitor. Who? It is I, Shivat Moltzin. I do say you are looking radiant as ever. The art wolves fall prey to the blue foxes, but their leader, Hadi Solbay, manages to escape. As the group considers how best to track him down, they are paid a visit by one Shivat Maltzen. He had once been a retainer for House Redditch, and more recently, a high-ranking art wolf. Though he showed no hesitation in divulging the location of Solby's hideout, it seems he has taken to hiding in a cave near the Rio Dale River in Central Field. The unit are all set to depart for the river when they receive an unexpected visitor. It is Duke Hende himself, Lord Counselor and Patron of the Blue Foxes. This is everyone, I believe. Splendid. Please be at ease. My presence should not be cause for alarm. Firstly, I must commend your efficient elimination of the Odd Wolf Thieves. Alas, the leader of these bandits, Hadi Solbe, remains at large. Have you been able to locate him? Fret not, Duke Hende. We have received information that he is in hiding in a location near the Riodale River. That news is very good to hear. I doubt I need to stress how vital it is that you apprehend or kill this traitor. My sources also report that he possesses jade of exceptionally high quality. You will retrieve it from him, and you will utter not a word of this matter to anyone. And thus, your true goal lies in the jade, then. As you say, I will not deny it. You will recognize it as soon as you see it. Its superior brilliance is unmistakable. Is that so? And just what exactly does your grace intend to do with this jade, pray tell? All you need to know at this moment in time, Walter Quinn, is that the fate of our nation depends on this mission. Such a grandiose statement. Personally, I don't care what happens to the country. Hmm. Keep your thoughts to yourself, Walter Quinn. Stop loitering around, Shivat. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm still getting used to my new environment. You do understand that we're not on your side, don't you? Once an Ard Wolf. But <laughs> you wanted me on your side when you asked me to join the unit. That wasn't a matter of taking sides. I merely recognized you as a potential asset, that's all. An asset? Huh. I see. Then I had better make sure that I am of use to you. Yes, you had. Perhaps I should start by entertaining you with tales of Walter Quinn's past. Later, perhaps. Hmm. As you wish. moment not bad before I forget what difference does that make 
ये आए Got a sec? Hmm. To be honest. Hmm. What do you think? This should do it. I'm counting on you. Aye. Requesting support. Thanks. How about it? Very well. What did you do before you started working for the Duke, Lorraine? My family were nobles, but of low status. All I ever tried to do was please my father. I was schooled in etiquette, taught to know my place. At 15, my father chose a husband for me, but I wanted to complete my studies. And luckily, the Duke's Academy accepted me as a student. A clever way of avoiding marriage? Uh, what happened next? His Grace approached me directly to ask if I would work for him. And so here I am. I see. Choosing between your fiancé and the Duke wasn't much of a dilemma then. If you're insinuating romantic interest, you are mistaken. He is like a father to me. The father you would have liked to have had, by the sounds of it. Would you say you know his grace better than most, on account of being his trusted assistant? I'm fairly confident I know him better than you do. But of course. What is it that you want from me, Andreas? Oh, 
Nothing in particular. Oh, my apologies. I trust in your ability. Hadi Solbe, the leader of the Ardwolves and its remnants, are laying low in the caves by the Riodale River. The mighty Riodale raises in Centralfield and then crosses Southfield on its way to the sea. That means Solbe might be planning to make his escape to Southfield by boat. He cannot be allowed to get away with the Jade. Blue foxes. Pounce on him in his burrow before he has the chance to set sail. He won't escape us this time, Your Grace. And of course, we'll try not to forget about the Jade while we're at it, yes? Naturally. It seems the blue foxes have been sniffing around, Hattie. And they got the better of Jozel, too. Damn. It's like it's time for this old wolf to finish off the nosy foxes before they get in our way. It seems that Kerr, Hattie Solby, has kept plenty in reserve. A frontal assault against these heavy armaments would have us as cannon fodder. Yeah. No. 
another foe defeated. Understood. In any case... Understood. Right away. Very well. Go. Damn! Child's play. <laughs> Inconceivable! You ugly bastards!
Sobi is done for, and we have the Jade. Mission accomplished. His Jade smuggling operation certainly seemed lucrative. I wonder who was buying. Some noble with deep pockets. Or perhaps not. It really is exceptionally beautiful Jade. Do we have to hand it over? We follow our orders, Quinn. I believe the royal envoys are already here to collect it, in fact. Hmm. Excellent work, Blue Foxes. Your efforts will be handsomely rewarded. The violence in Central Field will hopefully end now, had Isolbe is out of the picture. But what about the Jade, Your Grace? Where are you keeping it? What are you talking about? The Royal Envoys collected the Jade. Did you not see? Were they Royal Envoys? I was sure I'd seen them at your mansion. I'm afraid you're mistaken. If Your Grace says so. Now then, I had best be off. Continue in this vein going forth, blue foxes. Sir, 